Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Have you heard these two terms yet, packet switching and circuit switching? Well, if you have, you might have been a bit challenged to definitively say uh, a few characteristics about each of these and how they're similar and how they're different. So that's what we're going to focus on in this tutorial, packet switching and circuit switching. Well, why don't we begin by putting up this very simple uh, definition. These are two fundamentally different categories or different approaches to WAN technologies. So right off the bat, we know they are nothing alike. They are very different. So we're going to take a look at each one and actually give a few real-world examples of each one as well. Let's start with circuit switching. And the best example of circuit switching is the PSTN, the Public Switch Telephone Network. It's been around for a long time, and between the two methods, circuit switching and packet switching, circuit switching is older. It's been around longer. It was the first one. So let's imagine we have two telephones. That's one phone, and that's another phone. And they, all have, they both have landlines, and they are connected to the telco provider, which is the cloud in the middle. So before voices can be tr transmitted between the two, a path has to be decided upon between each of these. And not only that, that path has to be implemented. So let's say that's our path. So with circuit switching, before anything happens, before any data, and in this instance, any voice traffic is carried across the two, a path has to be determined and implemented. Not only that, we're creating a point-to-point -point circuit here. So we have point A and point B, and that's it. There's nothing else involved with this. So that leads us to another characteristic. This is a dedicated path between the two. It's exclusive. No other devices are using this path while these two phones are talking to each other. Now, circuit switching is implemented in layer one of the OSI model, and the PSTN is the biggest example and the, the greatest example to look at of circuit switching. Okay, now let's move on to packet switching and see how that differs. So with packet switching, we're going to use two routers and they're connected to a service provider. And let's say this is their wide area network. Now to compare this to circuit switching, before these two routers can go ahead and talk, they do not have to implement a predetermined path, which was the case with circuit switching. So the way it works with packet switching is a packet will be sent and all of the devices between these two routers will determine the path dynamically. So that red line is, is let's say the first packet to be sent between these two routers. Now the very next packet could go that way and yet the third packet could go yet a different way. Okay, so it's not a predetermined path. In fact, it varies. It's very dynamic. Each of the devices within the path here can make a decision based on the information in the packet as to where to send it next. What is the best route? Okay, so multiple paths can exist here. Not only that, but these paths, they're not ex exclusive to the communication between router A and router B. In fact, we could have many other devices hanging off of this wide area network and they could be sharing the infrastructure here. Okay, so that's another big difference between these two. It's not an exclusive path. In fact, these paths can be shared by many devices. Also, another big difference between packet switching and circuit switching is packet switching is implemented in layer two of the OSI model, whereas circuit switching is layer one. And whereas we had the PSTN for circuit switching, the big examples for packet switching are frame relay and ATM. Okay, so that is packet switching. Okay, so to summarize the differences between circuit switching and packet switching, circuit switching uses a predetermined path before any data is sent between two devices, and the path is dedicated and exclusive to just those two devices. So it's a point-to-point -point circuit. Circuit switching is also implemented in layer one of the OSI model, and a good example is the PSTN. Now the other very different approach is packet switching, and here there are multiple shared paths, so you do not have the exclusive paths and they're not predetermined, in fact they're dynamic, they can change from packet to packet. 
packet switching is implemented in layer 2 of the OSI model, and a good example of packet switching is frame relay. Okay, so those are the differences between packet switching and circuit switching. Thanks for watching.